and on the insulation in here so before I put up the ceiling insulation I went along and I put um, I don't know if I really need it but I put vapor barrier against the wood there and then I put these uh, little plastic pieces uh, because it's 14 inches of insulation so it's gonna hit all this area so I figured it was good to you know kind of keep the insulation away from the wood a little bit have a vapor barrier so um, that's what I got going on there I, I don't know technically if I need to do that but I don't I don't want to come back later and rip out the insulation and try to do that so I'm just doing it first here's the insulation I put up on the ceiling you tell that the stuff is huge huge and then in here I started putting up um, the the ceiling insulation this stuff just you know sticks up in there um, it actually goes up pretty easy and then in here I put up the uh, plastic uh, vapor barrier um, so looks like it's gonna work out all right I'm, I was kind of worried about trying to stretch out this plastic but it actually looks like it's working out pretty well so I'm gonna continue on doing that it's kind of hard to get a camera in here maybe I'll I'll film some of the uh, other stuff putting up the ceiling stuff but boy I'm almost ready to go I got my insulation done in here I'm gonna come into the bathroom today and get this insulation done in here and start working on the living room but it is coming along but boy that's a lot of insulation hey, and you know on this insulation stuff um, technically you're supposed to do it like this right here where the paper goes over the edge of the, um, the studs there but you know I don't, I don't like doing it this way because then it's like you know when you're measuring out it's like okay a studs here but where exactly is the middle of the stud and you got to squeeze it and try to measure right in the middle so to me it's kind of a pain doing it that way um, I prefer doing it this way so I can see the studs and there's nothing on the studs that's gonna um, make the drywall kind of wonky on it so that's what I prefer but technically I don't know legally if if you can do it this way or not it looks to me I looked at the regulations all through the code and it says that the the um, vapor barrier should be as flat as possible when practical so what does that mean I, I don't know so technically I mean to me it's not practical to put it the insulation on the outside so to me it's you know <laughs> this is uh if this is done correctly correctly by law the way I interpret it so I don't know if it is or not but um, you know with the ceiling though it's going to be a vapor barrier of that plastic and so that's going to be um, just across the studs like they want which I don't have a problem with because the plastic you can see right through you can see where the studs are so I kind of prefer the plastic now over to this paper stuff it's actually pretty quick just to throw in these four foot pieces it's kind of easy to do um, as a one man job but um, or a one person job but uh, anyways um, the only thing I don't like about this stuff I mean it starts bowing down in the middle um, sections you can see it there bowing down so you know I sit there and try to push it up in the middle and it kind of pushes the ends down so it's back and forth but uh, anyway it's a little hard to get up there but um, then I'll put the plastic over there and hopefully that you know won't droop enough to start ripping out the staples and the plastic but um, one thing I did in the bathroom here I got the uh, plastic ready to go I just stapled in at the top here this sheet and I'll just kind of uh, pull it out and uh, hold it up as tight as I can as I um, staple it in Hey, that went really uh, 
better than I thought. I thought it was going to be a nightmare because this is actually a 20 by 10 piece of plastic. But uh, it, it actually looks pretty good. There's not a lot of wrinkles in it. So my, my strategy here was I, I went along and uh, I kind of um, I, I put everything level with the bottom stud there with this plastic and uh, you know the bottom plate there. And so I just went along stapling it tight with the same amount of space. And then I went in the middle, in the middle and, uh, you know, stapled that and then went towards the edges. Seems to work pretty good that way. So that's, that's my advice on um, putting up plastic. First time I've really done it here ever. So, but uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it now. I was, I was worried about this plastic thing, but it's no biggie. Oh, and I have to leave this little piece right there empty because uh, he still got to inspect that pipe because I had replaced that four inch with the six. So uh, I can't do that or put up the plastic right there until um, he inspects that. So um, now I'll leave that one piece out for now. You know, I've been struggling with this door for like two hours, maybe at least about two hours trying to get it straight and to close right. And, uh, you know, I finally realized that it's not me and my skills. It's just this door is is really crappy. And so, look at this. So, so I'm like, why won't this door close? Everything my everything is perfectly straight, level, square, whatever. And uh, so, look at this. This is funny. So, so I'm like, well, it's got to be something with these hinges and stuff. Look, this hinge is not even in the groove there. And so this whole, this whole hinge is not sitting in. And I'm like, oh, no wonder like this is not working out. And I mean, look at this hinge is all bent out. So when I'm closing this door and it always hits there. So I keep trying to get this frame out of square to make it close. But if you look at this, I mean, down at the bottom, there's almost no gap here. And then as you go up and up, there's a huge gap. So that this is my problem. It's not trying to get this this thing square or anything. So, boy, I tell you, um, I guess all the time I, I kind of get what I get for what I, I pay. You know, it's again, a, you know, the cheapest store you can buy at like 250 or something. But um, same with these windows or pretty much the cheapest windows you can get you know so you know I'm always buying this cheap stuff and then going wow the quality's not good <laughs> hey so today I'm gonna try to get all this insulation finished up um, yesterday I, I this is what I I was working on these things um, trying to get uh, this stuff kind of trimmed out ready for the rigid ins insulation so the rigid insulation is going to come up exactly with this um, then I can put my you know my outlet cover on here and then the uh, J channel whatever around it for my vinyl and have my vinyl come up to here that's my plan and this is a, like an extension in here this is like an extension box so I got my original box in there and this is an extension that comes out um, and I just uh, put this box back in flush so this would sit flush so um, anyways that's my plan there and here's my um, light one so I did the light the same kind of way I got my uh, framing kind of around it here and then this is uh, an extension right here so uh, Again, I think I'm going to put my light, bam, right onto here, and then have my uh, vinyl around it. Even though the vinyl is going to stick out a little bit, I think it'll be fine. And I got this uh, foam stuff right here. So I figure there's probably some kind of rule or reg saying I got to insulate this area around the windows. So I got this stuff. I've never used this before around the windows, so I'm going to... Um, try this out it says window and doors no bowing so it doesn't push on the windows i guess so um that's my plan i'm gonna get that stuff in um today too and uh finish up this i really just have a little bit of a uh, plastic here to put over this edge and uh should be good to go hopefully 
hey, I was going to film film that, but, you know, uh, I found when I, I was using this foam stuff, the little tube that you stick in there, I mean, this stuff is so sticky that the tube would kind of get stuck and you couldn't just, you know, do it easily. So I had to use one hand to kind of hold the tube and the other hand to press the nozzle as I went around. Um, this is my first window I did and boy, I got a lot of extra here. So I'm going to wait till that um, dries and then I'm going to cut off the remainder stuff. I, I dumped a whole bunch, uh, just sprayed a bunch around that outlet there and the other one and these I, I got a lot neater I just you know used a, a lot thinner bead again this insulation I don't I don't really see any specific rules in the code how you know how much you need to use or how much you know so the the insulation rules are pretty pretty loose on there so um, I think that's good enough um, uh, for now Another thing, man, that, that stuff was so sticky that I got it all over my hands. And, I mean, I couldn't get it off. And then I had to go dip some, uh, dip a, a paper towel into my gas tank and my ATV so I could get some gas. Now I stink real like gas. But, man, that was the only thing I could find to get, get this uh, stickiness off my hands. But uh, remember that. Getting kind of dark out now. I was, I was hiding out for the last four or five hours because... It was super hot here today. It's supposed to be like 100 tomorrow, 100 the next day. Um, so I'm not getting a lot done. I'm moving kind of slow in this heat. But anyways, I'm uh, since it's dark out now, I'm uh, getting a line um, all along here where I'm going to put trim pieces. Um, kind of like the window trim um, is even with the styrofoam. And I'm going to have a bottom piece of trim also even, and it can just rest on that. So that's what I'm doing here. And um, I'm actually using my Bosch um, laser again. I, I actually use this um, in the first video I think I made where I, I used it to level off all my peers. Um, it worked really um, super. So... Um, I thought this would be perfect, so I'm going to draw a line and put my trim on there. And then um, I'm going to use it again in the future to draw a line on my trim where I want my starting strip for my vinyl going up. And, um, yeah, so that's the plan, man. But uh, I'm not going to film this, but I'm going to go around and... Uh, I got a marker and I'm gonna just uh, go along this laser line and uh, just mark it out with the marker. That level worked sweet again last night, so I went around. I got lines marked everywhere. Um, right, you can see the little lines I just put uh, around the place. So now I'm gonna um, I have a, a line um, so I know where to put my bottom trim piece on. So. I'm gonna get on nailing that. Um, if I'm in a t-shirt by seven in the morning, you know it's gonna be unreal hot today. So um, I'll try to get as much done before noon. I finally got my um, last two plug things figured out here's um the box this is what i need for my heat pump and so i was actually thinking they get, the inspector was talking about some kind of like you know regular plug thing that but, but it's not some standard thing it's just entirely different box right so now i got this box you know it's got to shut off um for the the power is going to come out here and go to uh, the heat pump so I got that figured out so again the styrofoam is going to come up flush with this and then I could put trim around this stuff and here's my other box I I finished so that was kind of the hold up and then I was like dang I thought it was Sunday and I like looked at, the, at my tablet it's like wait a minute it's Monday and so I hurried and I still was able to get an appointment tomorrow to get my uh, inspection done on the insulation so this be like and the, the mechanical too for that stove pipe so hopefully 
this stuff will pass tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, but I, I thought, you know, today I'm like, wow, I kind of am finished up inside. There's not much more to do inside. So I need to really get an inspection. Hello. So inside I only have like two spots left without insulation. And so, uh, but the holdup was these electrical kind of plugs to finish those out. So, and then I just sprayed all kinds of this foam stuff around it. And, uh, you know, now I'll put these two last pieces in and I should be done. But, um, now we'll see tomorrow what, what I still need to do. I'm sure there's more. I'm, I'm not sure about, you know, even these light things that, you know, to cut it out, um, and then do I need to tape it or not? I wouldn't think you would, but who knows? Um, anyways, hope to get this mechanical passed tomorrow too and uh, be done with that. Then I can finish the ceiling up. So um, that's where I'm at. And you know, every time I'm gonna have an inspection, I'm gonna wear my lucky lady shirt, right? But man, that went good today. He, you know, it's super hot already here, like 90 degrees by 11. And so the inspector really was in a hurry to get back in that AC car. So he came in here, bam, looked at everything quick, said everything was fine. Um, he just wanted me to stick some insulation in these corners. I didn't put any insulation there. And a couple of these have like a gap at the top. He said, just shove some stuff in there and it's all good to go. So. I'm super jazzed, man. Everything passed, so now I'm good until the final inspection. And uh, I got to ask him a few questions about, you know, the deck. I got to build out front, just a little stepway. Um, so I got to ask him the questions, and whew, good to go. Sweet. You know, one thing about yesterday, it was kind of weird. I asked him about the insulation, you know, under the floor, and I, I said, aren't you going to inspect that? And he said, ah, it's already inspected, so... I don't know, it's pretty weird, you know, because that, that plastic I just put in, so I don't think it would have uh, passed any inspection before, so I have no idea. I'm not going to argue with them, but, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, kind of unclear at times what they are going to inspect, what they don't. So here, I mean, nothing on my entire roof was inspected, so the, the sheathing, the roof, nothing. And then, you know, now it's like, you know, drywall nothing's inspected I asked him about green board in the bathroom he said yeah you, you should do that but they don't inspect anything so it's just kind of odd what what they do and don't inspect but this is Oregon maybe where you're living it's different so today I've just been uh, scraping while it's nice and cool out uh, I've been scraping all this fascia you know it's really disappointing that I mean this fascia like the paint is just coming off like just crazy um, you know, and I, I thought originally, you know, it was, you know, the paint I was putting on was coming off, but it's not, it's all the, the factory paint. And, you know, I was looking at the stuff and man, this is like a piece of it. You can see like, man, that thing is so thick. So I think they just put this, this primer paint on this stuff so thick that it just covers up all the imperfections, but, but then the heat just kind of dried it out and it just starts popping off. So... You know, that was really disappointing, but, you know, with this this stuff, I got 2 by 10 rafters, and once you cut them at an angle, I mean, that's like 11 inches you got to cover, and there's not many boards that are, you know, over 11 inches wide, so that's kind of the struggle with, with this uh, fascia stuff I got here, um, but, you know, what can you do? Hey, so I, w I went back home to, to Newport, and, uh, Man, it's like three and a half hour drive. I figured out my Home Depot order. They don't have all the stuff, so it's going to take a while. So I got I got back, and then two hours later, I got a text saying they're delivering it today. So I was there for like 18 hours, at, you know, and washed some clothes. Came right back uh, about 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock this morning. So anyways, I got my Home Depot order, so I'm glad about that. Kind of sucks being up here for a uh, 4th of July weekend, but... Here it is, so this is all the drywall. Um, boy, it looks intimidating now, you know. At, at, you know, I ordered it all like, ah, no biggie, it's like 65 sheets or something. But now that I actually have it here in front of me, it's like, wow, this is, this is a lot of drywall, you know. It's up to 
up to my waist so um, now I'm kind of looking inside like where I can actually start stacking this because I thought I'd just stack like two stacks but I'm gonna need like at least five stacks you know to get it out of the the weather here so um, yeah so I, would, I just want to get this inside um, before too long but I think I'm gonna have to start just getting some inside and start hanging it to um, start getting this stack down smaller because it's pretty huge right now um, it's 90 out now so I think I'm uh, gonna wait till morning to start moving it nothing like moving drywall huh so so I'm not gonna film all that but uh yeah I'm gonna I've carried a lot over to the um, shed I want to get that thing all drywalled um, maybe today um, and I was trying to you know get stuff done yesterday because I really need to you know get some of this stack um, hung before I like start stacking inside because I'm gonna need like six stacks or something to fit all this drywall um, so yesterday I finished up my bathroom here um, it's looking pretty nice look at that um, so one of the things I there is quite a bit of waste from this uh, if you look here I mean this is all my waste from just the bathroom and so um, I always like to waste drywall rather than um, create more seams so this is like you know a seven foot wall so of course you chop off a foot and throw it away this way this other direction is six foot so, so basically, you know, I cut off two feet and throw it away. So there's a lot of waste um, doing these little areas. And usually I'm trying to um, avoid a lot of seams. So to me, uh, it's better to waste drywall than to make a bunch more seams. But uh, this drywall stuff, I, I think I'm going to kind of fly through kind of quick in this cabin video. I think I'll, I'll make like a like a separate video on just uh, drywalling so that's my plan right now I think I'll you know kind of burn through this stuff pretty quick in the cabin video and maybe just create like a new you know how to drywall video with more detail that's the plan now man hey I've been working on this drywall uh, the last few days um, I've got it in the drywall video but you know for this cabin video I'll just say real quick like uh, you know, I, I've been working um, probably about, well, I did the bathroom in one day, um, and then I did my shed in another day, and then I did the little closet in my bedroom another day. And uh, today I just did a few pieces and uh, worked on that drywall video. Um, you know, I think I'm, I average about nine pieces a day is, is all I really um, do for this drywall stuff. You know, you'd think I would go a lot faster at it, um, but not really. But, you know, today I've been moving these um, sheets, so I still had, um, you know, 40 sheets outside. I didn't want to leave them sitting outside in case it rained up here. So, boy, I mean, just moving 40 sheets, here's another stack. So, I mean, I've got these stacks all over the place, so... Um, but I had to get them in a, in a spot where it's not going to interfere with, you know, doing the rest of the ceiling and stuff. So, man, that's a lot of sheets, uh, 40 sheets just to move around it in. It's like 90. So, I mean, you can just, uh, you know, and clean it up all this stuff. Now I got to move all the stuff back. So I, I got my, my closet done here first just so I could come out here and get rid of all my, you know, my tools out here are piling up so now I can put all these tools back in there and have room to work out here but uh this is a real small place you know so I, I gotta move stuff around a lot but that's what I've been up to it's going pretty nice and the rest of my Home Depot order came today so I got the rest of my stack there of uh, R5 insulation so Boy, I'm about ready to do the insulation now, too, so, whew, busy.
cabin video people. I've been working on my drywall video, so I, I haven't put much effort into to this cabin video at all, but uh, watch the drywall video if you're interested in how to actually do drywall. Um, it turned out really nice in here. Um, but I'm uh, finishing up the drywall and then I'm going to uh, get on to the mudding. I'm still waiting on my um, vinyl siding. It's been whew, over a month and a half now. So um, hopefully that will be in pretty soon. So I'm kind of stalled on the outside right now. Although I did get my R5 insulation so I'll probably start putting that up pretty soon. But I'm just plugging away on the inside now. Hey, so I'm just starting to mud today, uh, do some taping, but then I was like, ah, I really should check this this before I put um, wrap around corners on all these uh, closet areas. I thought, man, I better go check again and make sure this door is going to fit. So I got dual bi bifold uh, closet doors. So I, I looked at, at Home Depot and I thought I figured this out like three years ago when I designed this place, but this closet's a little bit off now. So... Um, it's probably good I found out now rather than later, but so it's about half inch too short. So, um, you know, once I put it on the floor and stuff, it's going to be a little too short. And then, um, the width is not right either. It's 47 inches and it should be 48 inches. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to, I'm going to take off these, uh, these, um, edges here and I'm gonna switch it out for a quarter inch because uh, I got a sheet of quarter inch drywall anyways and so um, if I switch it out that'll give me you know a quarter inch on both sides so I'll get an extra half inch so it'll be pretty close to the right size and then if I switch this out it'll be pretty close to the right size so that's my plan is I'm gonna switch out these to quarter inch drywall and then that'll give me a little bit more room if the doors still don't fit, then you have to cut down the doors, which is kind of a pain. So I'm, I'm hoping they'll fit uh, once I do this modification. You know, with those, those closet doors, it's kind of hard to tell how much actual space you need for them. Because, you know, my ones at home have big old gaps and, you know, around it. So I should have measured those doors uh, before I left. But anyways, I'm going to mess with that. And then also I, I did this closet and I realized like, oh, wow, I never built... Uh, a wall to hide the um, water heater. So I got my, this is going to be my water heater area back here. And so now I actually got to build like a little uh, fake wall, you know, to hide that. So I got to get on that today. So I got to fix some of the stuff before I start plugging away on the, uh, on the uh, drywall taping. All right, so I got my uh, drywall switched out there. It's a quarter inch now. Um, it's still like 47 and a quarter between these, so I might still have to cut the doors down. I hope not, but anyways, you got my frame right here, uh, all made for the, um, water closet to hide that. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and tape this inside before I put this wall on. I'm a little worried outside. I smell, uh, fire smoke and there's again fires in Oregon. So I'm hoping the fire's not too close. Um, dang.
Mm-hmm.